It's sad. Vieni, 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 vieni. So special. I came all the way to New York to meet. How you doing? Carmine. Okay, guys, welcome back to my channel. Are you ready? You want to see? I'm hey, ready. Guys, right, I'm born ready. Yeah. So I know you're a funny guy. You know, we made another video that was yeah. fun. But today, I'm here in New York City because wow. uh, I discovered that you have uh, the 200 years old sourdough. Listen, it's going to make the pizza the best. I'm going to show you pizza to another level. We are going to show these guys to you the how to make the pizza dough with 200 years old Pizza <laughs> Madre! Sourdough! Sourdough! Mamma mia, forget so, American! Okay, let's go make this pizza dough! Let's go! From scratch! The secret and finally the 200 years old Sourdough! Sourdough! I mean, take a look guys, how it is. It smells so good wow. though. Very active. So much nice. frangan. Can you tell us how you made this. People online make it so difficult. Yeah. So we want to make it easy for people. In my channel, everything is easy, Everybody's easy, simple. I have about one cup of water right here. So we're going to do about seven days it takes to make a sourdough starter. Seven to 14 days. But for me personally, it takes about seven days. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to put some water in here. In this case, this is very small. One cup of water. I'm just going to use one cup of water. All right. And now we're going to use it. I just do it by eye. And we're going to do it right here. About one cup of water. About flour one too. cup. Yeah. So it'll be one cup each. So equal. Yeah, okay, and then we're gonna and we're gonna we're gonna mix it. And this is what you're gonna do for the first three days: water and flour for the first three days. And the consistency that you want to get is you want it to be like a pancake. It can be a thin pancake. So tomorrow, or thick. in 24 hours, I do. I add in this one another cup of water and another cup of flour, right? Yep. So that's why I have to take off something or no? Okay, so keep for adding. the first three days, you don't need to take off anything. You so just need water and adding. flour. Yep, so one cup of water, one cup of flour. Okay, perfect. Okay, this is what it's going to look like. I didn't, mix it, I didn't mix it, but it should be a little more thicker than this. That's In this it. case, I made it more thinner, but you can do it more So the first three days you do this, and then from the fourth to seventh day, this is what I'm going to show you. So pretend right here, this is the fourth day. Yes. Okay. We're gonna take we're gonna take some out. So I'm just gonna pretend this is taken away. So, so we we're take gonna, so one we third. Need one third. So take away one third, and then we're gonna do same process as the other days. Yeah. One cup oh, of water. Oh, that one. Okay. And one cup of flour. Okay. So, same so I'm gonna show you again. We're gonna do that. One cup of water. One cup of flour. And it doesn't need to be precise, guys. This is a simple video to show you guys that it doesn't need to be exact. Number two, you have to make sure that you have some kind of top over this, any kind of lid. So you're gonna cover. And you're gonna cover. No air? And no, actually sourdough, you don't want it to be completely, you want oh, air you, to like enter. They can put the plastic wrap and pop it. Exactly, you can put a plastic wrap and put it. And so that's gonna be from the fourth day to the seventh day. After the seventh day, you're gonna start seeing bubbles. If you see in the bubbles and you're gonna smell this very fresh, Fragrance. Yeah. It, uh, your sourdough is ready. Your sourdough is ready. Now, here's the funny thing. Yeah. Now we got to see how do we know it's ready? Because that's what people are going to say, but how do I know it's ready, right? Yeah. Number one, look, guys. Do you see all the bubbles? Yeah. This is the consistency that you guys want to have, right? So, same, same consistency. Pin, exactly. The polish. And you see that it's ready, right? You can yeah. see that it's bubbling. Now, here's the thing. Watch. I want to show you. You can you can get some of this. Yeah. And you can put a little, like a little bit, just a little bit, like a one little drop. And you can put it in there and you're going to see. Usually you want to do it in water. You don't want to do it, and you're just going to see. You're going to see that it floats, right? Usually you want to do this in water. Oh, and if, if it you, flows, if it flows, the, the yeast is floats, ready. If it floats, that means the yeast is ready. Yeah. Guys, I recommend you guys, please do not use a sourdough starter if it doesn't float. That means it it's not work, ready. Perfect. Simple so, like that. And then, after seven days, so how can I save it? After seven days, you're going to put it in the fridge, and like me, I put it in a container like this, or you can put it in a mason jar. And, and you you're going to And you put it in the fridge. A lot of people at home, they just want to use it once a week. So you take it out. Once you take it out. Take off three quarters. You take off one third. Oh, uh, one third. And then you put ex exactly again, and water and flour. And refresh. And that's it. And you have to leave it for about four to six hours. Guys, there's no precise timing. You have to see that once it becomes bubbly and you it's do the flow ready. test. Yes. Once it has Perfect. the bubble and flow test is ready. It's super simple. So now in this oh, in case. In this case, we're using about a thousand grams of sourdough starter. Oh, we gotta go like this, guys. Look, smash we're like a team. Line. Come on, let's show the muscles. Sma guys, who got bigger muscles? Sma Me or Vito over here? <laughs> smash that like, subscribe right there, it's totally free. And put and your thumbs up to this. Come on, guys. This, this, this he said is gonna do 3.4 million views. Come on, you see how. Dough, this is the dough. So you told me that we need uh, 4.8 liter of water. Exactly. Cold. Flour. So 7 kilos seven of flour. 7 kilos of flour. And about, two, uh, about 210 grams of salt. One kilo of uh, 
Sour 200 dip. years old. Well, oh, you didn't explain to me. Why is 200 years old? Okay, so uh, you see, the universe asked this question. All right, so this is the, this is the point. You, I mean, guys, that's why he's here. He wants to know what's the reason. All right, I'm sit down. Yeah. Nah, he's not here. Relax. I'm interested in that. All right. <laughs> so this sourdough starter comes from Acreole, which is uh, it's right in Italy, right between Salerno and Napoli. Uh, I actually went 10 years ago. I found one of my friends. His father owned, uh, he was a pastry chef, and he owned a pizzeria, and I asked him, for their ancient, they had a 200 year old sourdough starter and he was nice enough to give it to me. Ha, ah, so you got a gift. Of course. So two you brought from Italy. That's it. Uh, what they say at the airport? What do they sell? <sighs> they sell nothing good over there at the airport. <laughs> no, not the airport, they let you get in the... Yeah, man, so what you get, this is a trick. I can't tell everything. See, we're... Yeah, you have to we're, say, hey. yeah, yeah, I came all the way from Los Angeles uh, to New York for so this. So actually, the way I brought it over here is, guys, you, just, you I brought a teaspoon of this. You can mix it in flour. I tie it around a little bit. You put it like in a some kind of wrapping paper, and you oh put it in a sock. And don't no, worry no, about no, it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank God they didn't stop me. <laughs> Otherwise, you got issues. They were say, okay, I got it. Mom, mom, you got and then you refresh and keep it like that. That's that's a super interesting Same. story. And all right. So the first thing we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna put the water. Yeah, I'm gonna put all. Okay, of it. I save save a little bit after. Yeah. Then I go. Yeah, you put the sourdough starter. You're sourdough. gonna put. So right now we're putting all the sourdough starter. Salt we're gonna put right now in the water. Oh, right now. In the so water. right now we're okay, gonna put perfect. in the water. So you're gonna melt it in there, melt it, and then we're gonna mix it by hand. So we're gonna go like this. So we're gonna make the reason we're doing this so it doesn't get nice and chunky, right? So we're gonna mix this. So okay, we're, perfect. So now we're gonna put you put all the flour in there. Let's do this first. Put it on okay. low speed. We're gonna do this first. Yeah, go for it. All right. So put low speed. You know. Done. Okay, coming. Fifteen minutes pass by. Like we can see, we have the. Exactly. It's super liquid. Come here. Okay, we can still see that it's still liquid right here, right? Yeah. So now what we're gonna we're now we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna give it a five minute rest. Yeah. Five minute rest to develop the gluten. Yes. And then we're gonna put the remaining flour and then we're gonna put water little by little for another five more minutes until we see that it gets a consistency like a, an ice cream. Yeah, yeah. Once it's all done, we we'll be good soft. to go. Okay, Perfect. coming in. Fantastic. Nice and smooth. Yeah, but just show the people understand. Look, can you grab a piece, Vito? Oh, yeah. And show them how it, it's very elastic. It's, ah, it's very hard, huh? I usually do a really it's much 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 more soft now what we're going to do is uh we're going to give it about five to ten minute rest it depends i like to leave it about five to ten minutes so the gluten completely develops correctly so what we're going to do right here is we're going to take it out we're going to we're going to leave it for 10 minutes take it out we're going to put it in a big bowl okay and then nice and smooth and then we let it rest for one hour and then we make the balls perfect all right so because vito is very fast <laughs> they call him uh, vito fasta Jacobelli. look how fast this is Look how he does it, guys. So we're gonna make the balls about 250 grams yes. regularly. By eye, right? You're doing it by eye, but oh, of course you can measure it, wow. guys. Okay, Carmine, done. No, now you let it rest for how long? Now for my recipe right here, we're gonna leave this for about 12 hours. So 12 hours. Okay, perfect. I'll see you tomorrow morning. I'm gonna show you how this pizza Come is on. going to be. Okay, guys, of course, we've been uh, slam here. We had another event to do. It's morning and uh, the sourdough, it's ready. After 12 hours, that's it. Look at this, guys. You can double up the side, even if it was cold. And a lot of people want to know, do we leave it in the fridge or we left it outside? In this we case, left it we left it cold. outside because it was cold and we didn't want to ferment very fast, so we left it outside. But you could also leave it at room temperature, I would say about 72, 75 degrees. Yeah. So now we're ready to show them, and I'm going to taste for the first time this 20 no, years old. Here. Are you ready? Hey, guys, guys, this guy makes the pizza with a 200 years old sourdough sour starter. You believe this? Wow. If you guys are ready, put the hands up. You guys are all on YouTube right now for a video. Make those hands up. Yeah. Okay. I want to get the honor. I yeah. came all the way to New York to, sure. to make your That's pizza it. and to taste your pizza. Yes, let's go. So. Like you can see here, guys, we made the pizza about 200 grams. The pizza is a little bit smaller than usual because we're making, uh, we're serving 20,000 people. That's another video. So this is how we stretch it. So you press and you pull. You press and you pull. You press and you pull. Until you have about, this pizza is going to be 10 inches. Then lift it up and then find the spot and boom, voila. That's it. So now we do this pizza, classic yeah, how much cheese pizza. Sauce we use? One, we do one scoop, right? One scoop and, uh, and a, quarter. a quarter. Then. Move go. the center. The center, bind. There we go. Okay. Now, I put uh, some fresh basil. Fresh basil. 
under the cheese. Wow. Let me ask you, why are you putting the basil underneath? Because uh, if I put it on top of the cheese, What's it's going to burn. It's oh, going to yeah. burn. So I put it under the cheese Beautiful. this way. And then we're going to go ahead and put some And we're going to extend it where? You're going to extend the peel? Cut some the Romano there. Nice. And now some extra virgin olive oil. Beautiful. Fucking I love this. Egg. I know. That's I from my house that. in Italy. Voila. So Look come in. Can I get the peel, please? Like that. I'm going to pull it on the peel. I'm going to make a large, about 10 inches pizza. Beautiful. So now, thank you so much. Come here. Hold on. We have this beautiful oven. It's at the mat. It's really hot. Go all the way inside. And then, boom, one shot in the back. That's it. Thank you beautiful. so much, Carmine, for your help. Yeah. I'm excited to Guys, taste Guys, make that. sure you subscribe. Yeah, put yeah, yeah. thumbs up and like. No thumbs down, thumbs That's up. That's great, yeah. Let's see. I'm going to get my reaction. I'm going to see hold what on, the video hold on. People, somebody asked me, how long does a sourdough pizza need to cook? That's the question everybody's asking me. Okay. How many seconds? What do you think? 40 it's seconds? Usually, same, same. Oh, the same. Yeah, no the big same. Difference. Even if they make it at home. Oh, so the sourdough is the same. Huh? Yeah. Make this recipe, wow. guys, and make sure to follow me on Instagram and Carmine Pizza on, the, on uh, Instagram. Okay, the pizza is lovely, ready. Voila, take a look, guys, how it is from Primo Piano. Wow. Beautiful. Hold on, bye. You ready to try it? So, we're going to get my. We're going to get my. Uh, Cutting technique. No, 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 my reaction. No, man, uh, I want to see how it tastes. And then also, we're going to get this. Uh, who wants to taste a free pizza? Who yeah. wants to be on YouTube and try the pizza? All right, we got people here. Okay, we're going to get your feedback on the pizza. This yes, is there we go, there we go. Come on, I want to see you guys excited. Are you guys excited? Okay, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. That's it. Holds it really well. Come on, come here, guys. Come here. Special. One per person. One per Smell person. Grazie, grazie. Guys, we gotta get a live reaction. What do you guys think on YouTube? Live reaction. Live reaction. Who wants to be on YouTube? Come here. Who wants to be on YouTube? Okay, it's your Tony wants to be on YouTube. Oh, okay. You wanna be on YouTube okay, over here? Come on. Live reaction, guys. They wanna see the camera. Wants to see the live reaction. Okay. What is it, Okay, we got the all, all, we got all the customers. Car excuse me, Carmine. We got all the customers. What do you think, Miguel? It's good. It's good. Now it's my turn. I've been not eating all day, so I'm super hungry. Okay. So finally, you're getting the real pizza, la pizza buona. You know, I'm a person against uh, against the sourdough. No, not for real. No, no, it's not a joke. What do you think? I didn't taste a pizza all day today because I want to get this reaction. I want to get to feed the feedback of this pizza. So I think this is the best sourdough pizza I ever taste because usually I don't like it because it's too sour. Yes. Okay, this doesn't taste sour at all. Exactly. Because probably you get everything natural. The way I ferment it, I ferment it in a way that you have more of the fruity notes. Yes. I don't let it go to acidic acid. I like to, they, they I let it ferment so as lactic acid. You get the uh, the sourdough at the right point. Which you have to know how to do say, it. Thank you. Carmine, the pizza is really mia, good. Finalmente, thank God I did something good, right? The flavor is amazing. The light, it's light. But uh, unfortunately, we're going to go back and make the pizza. We got to make it. Guys, remake this recipe. Link in the description. Follow my friend here. On Hold on, guys. Remember one thing. About sourdough pizza, it's very easy to digest. So oh, anybody, yeah, yeah, that, anybody that has a... Uh, stomach problems, sourdough pre-digested gluten. It is. So remember that, ladies and gentlemen. So I was saying, uh, guys, the full recipe is below. Please uh, go ahead, follow my friend. Help me reach the 100,000 subscribe, uh, 100,000 followers on Instagram because uh, he's Instagram to say, guys, yeah, act. Uh -huh, so guys. Let's get back to work, my friend. Let's go, guys. Thank Come you on. so much. I'll see you in the next one. All right. Oh.